come to the floor this evening to speak on behalf of nearly one million people in our great country who have lost their jobs, who have now also lost their unemployment insurance benefits because of the extensive obstacles and objections that have been put forward in the United States Senate uh, to extending this important program. I wish I could say this was the first time that had happened. It seems that every time we come to the floor in the middle of these very difficult economic times, even though things are getting better, but every time we come to the floor on behalf of people who are out of work, who want to work, who worked their entire lives, but at this point can't find a job, all we get are objections and delays and weeks and weeks and weeks of people sitting on pins and needles, holding their breath, trying to figure out what's going on. Will they have the ability to pay their rent, their mortgage, put food on the table, be able to care for their kids while they're looking for work? And here we are one more time, right back in that very same position. And right now, Mr. President, we have over 15 million people that are on unemployment benefits. That doesn't count those who are uh, working uh, part-time jobs or have fallen off of the system completely because they haven't been able to find a job and have been out of work longer than the insurance uh, benefits will, will allow. But we have 15 million people looking for work and we're told there are about 3.1 million jobs available. Now that means that there are five people looking for every one job opening. This is not a situation of people not wanting to work. In my great state of Michigan, we know how to work. We work really hard. We make things, we grow things, we work hard. But yet, through no fault of their own, people have find themselves in a situation where we have seen an economic tsunami go through our country lasting in Michigan longer than any other place across the country. And even as we climb our way out, and it is getting better, we have turned the corner. The, the economic recovery provisions we've put in place, we know are beginning to make a difference. But we still are in a situation, even as we are moving and turning the corner, where there are five people out of work for every one job opening. Now that's real life for too many people that I represent. And we've had legislation in front of us. We've been spending weeks now on a jobs bill, a jobs bill to create jobs, to invest in innovation, to help small businesses, to help manufacturers be able to get the capital that they need, but to also in that bill help people who don't have a job while they're waiting for all of this to take effect for all of this to work, people who have lost their jobs through no fault of their own, that find themselves in a situation where they are desperate and depending on us to understand what's happening to too many working families, middle class families, people who have never in their wildest dreams thought that they would find themselves in this situation, but here they are. And they want to know that we get it that we understand what's happening in their lives and that we're not gonna play politics or use people who are out of work somehow as uh, pawns in a political chess game that's going on here in the United States Senate. 